All right, combine week is underway, Brady. You're going to be off to the combine in just a couple of days. It's a test that you aced many a year ago. I think 15 years ago now you were there. How are the players preparing right now for the workouts, which begin on Thursday? The toughest thing about the combine for football players is really it's such a stark contrast compared to how you're asked to perform throughout the game of football. I mean, you're used to loud, crazy environments where you have all these different things going on around you. The combine's completely different. You can hear a pin drop in Lucas Oil Stadium. Uh, there's not many people in the stands. There's a few coaches here and there. It feels a little bit eerie when you're out there. Uh, and really the entire time during the combine, it's hurry up and wait. You're rushed around at the beginning of the day and the end of the day to dip for, for different things, different events, whether it's mental, emotional, or physical testing. And then you're waiting and you're waiting for your turn to go. And it's not like any rhythm that you're able to find or get over the course of a game. So it's a hard contrast to make as an athlete. I think it's why you see so many guys who are either dealing with an injury or if their season ended late, meaning they played in the semifinal or even the national championship game, they'd rather hold off and wait to actually do a lot of the testing that sticks with you for the rest of your life and the rest of your career. They'd rather wait until their pro day where they have more time to prepare for that moment. And a lot of these guys probably nervous because they don't know what they're going to be asked with the ridiculous questions. Brady, would you rather be a cat or a dog? Uh, always a dog. I mean, I think every football player will admit that. Now, Pete Prisco, unfortunately, is a cat guy. And he tries <laughs> to defend him every chance he gets, but he'd flunk every single interview at the combine. But here's the here's the reality. The meetings are really interesting because a lot of people think they have these speed sessions. It's kind of like speed dating. You get 20 minutes with the team. You go in, you meet the head coach, you meet the general manager, you meet uh, some of the, the brass, depending on the team. And then you start going through an assortment of topics. It could be your playing days. It could be the, the, their team's offense or defense and trying to figure out what you understand. It could be generally asking about your background, your upbringing, or maybe testing you and some of your past transgressions. Uh, they're a 20-minute grill session. Then you're out and you're moving on to the next team. And then later on throughout the course of the process, you'll have very casual meetings with teams. And it doesn't feel like it's an interview, but trust me, Every single thing you do while in Indianapolis is being monitored and watched. And there's people trying to learn all they can about you as a prospect. What color is chocolate, by the way? It's it's brown, I'd say, right? Unless it's, it's dark it's, chocolate. Right. Mm. Then it's a Why different not? shade. Mm. Mm. See? Well, see? Or unless it's white chocolate. There's hey. white chocolate out there. How do you weigh, you know, what we see in these combines? Because you, you get the freak athletes out there who just you know, they eat this stuff up. Maybe they run a 4-2, 4-3-40. How do you weigh what you see in the combine with what you see in an actual game? Film is always going to be uh, the, the biggest criteria for why you're drafting a player. Uh, as this is the underwear Olympics, as we like to call it. There's going to be guys who show up and guys who earn themselves some money because if you're looking at the film and all things are equal, now you're looking for more justification as to why to take that player. Okay, did he run a faster 40 if he's a wide receiver, if he's a cornerback? Um, did he jump high? Did he, did, he, did he test better in the drills and all the events? That helps to give you a little bit more motivation as to why you're taking player A versus player B if all things are similar from what you're watching on film. So that's the biggest thing, but it really comes down to the position. Uh, it's, it's position dependent upon what you're going to take away. For skilled players, guys who are fast, you want to run fast. You know, for um, you know, bigger offensive linemen, D linemen, I'm not so sure there's really much you're going to get from all of this. It's so far away removed from what you're asked to do in the game of football. It doesn't make sense. And for quarterbacks, and we saw Matt Corral announce he's not going to be throwing at the combine, it's really set up for you to fail. You're throwing, you know, every once every, you know, a few few minutes or, or moments to guys you've usually never thrown to before in a, in a sterile environment that really you're not really accustomed to or used to. And so you'll see there's a number of guys who might be coming back from injury or guys who won't do it for that very reason. I tore my PCL, my very final game in the Sugar Bowl. I chose to wait and try to rehab myself to get healthy enough to be able to throw up my pro day, even though I still wasn't 100% at that point. So you'll see a lot of those decisions made about testing and doing field drills based on the health of some of these players. Brady uh, said underwear Olympics minutes ago. Speaking of underwear Olympics, 15 years ago, Brady tanned, oiled, and completely shaved he did have he did have pants on i mean i know that we got there's no the way, proof to that we, we, we <laughs> think brady brady how much time did you spend in the tanning booth before you went in there uh none i trained out in arizona so no one needed a tanning booth uh that was where we were preparing for the combine i, I don't grow much hair so uh i'm not sure where the oil and all that comes from you know they're pretty particular about especially when you weigh in which is what we were doing right now 
you step on the scale, you weigh in in front of a, a crowd and stand of a bunch of strength coaches and people who are taking down all this information. They get your wingspan, your hand size, all those sorts of things. So it is uh, it is quite awkward, as, as you just portrayed for me. So I, I appreciate you including that here on HQ because uh, you're just sitting there basically in your skibbies and you're standing up there in front of a, a big stand full of people looking at you. Yeah, I mean, you, you go there at the Combine, you have your pants on but no shirt. We're here on the HQ set. We have our shirts on, but no pants. So it's kind of like the exact right. opposite. All right, Brady it's Quinn with us here on CBS Sports HQ. Look forward to his coverage at the NFL Combine later on this week with a bunch of our NFL experts. Uh, latest Pick 6 podcast with Will Brinson talking about Aaron Rodgers. And does defense still win championships? That old adage. They'll, they'll discuss it on the latest pod. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.